Hey, this is May or May Not Be a Human. Um, last time on the Making of Crusade, we were looking at some different viewpoints of the camera angles. Um, when you're looking at a, ca at a character, what are the different angles you can view it from? And, what the heck did I just do? <sighs> Sorry about that. One second. And, uh... What we basically, uh, I said we were going to move on from that stuff. Um, we found enough of that. That's boring. Um, we'll, work, we'll work on it some other time, but today what I wanted to work on is some special effects. Now, I'm trying to think of what the most basic special effect in my story is, and that would probably be speed. It, it's probably going to be speed for whatever show you're looking at. Speed is probably going to be the most obvious one. Um, that's going to come up the most. So, for my speed, I'm going to have my character be moving at the speed of sound, and I want sort of like a sound wave type effect to be coming out behind them. This is going to be a like cool sort of like action show, um, sort of supernatural, because it's like awesome and everyone moves really quickly, and they're basically like, I don't know, uh, superheroes or something. Um, anyway, except less lame. Um, let's see. So, I'm gonna go ahead and draw the basis for the sound wave. Um, now, when you move as fast as or faster than the speed of sound, you break this something called the sound barrier. What this means is like a little crack. It creates a gunshot s slash cracking noise, and it's, uh, it's like the crack of a whip. And it just like a bullet comes out of a gun, um, it actually, when it breaks the sound barrier, it's moving faster than the speed of sound, and it ends up creating sort of like a shockwave behind it. Normally you can't see it, but because, er because um, everything in my story is so drastic, we have to have some sort of visual effect, otherwise it just wouldn't be cool. So what I've created here is like, um, it's basically the shockwave that's going to come. And my idea is that the character will be over here, or maybe over here, I haven't decided which yet. And these will be sort of like the sonic waves coming off of the character as they break the speed of sound. Um, um, let's see. Now, I'm going to name this layer Face. This is not going to have any special effects, it's just going to be the basic shape that everything else is based off of. Now... Hmm, here's what I want to do. I'm going to, uh, da, 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 edit, copy. Now I'm actually going to delete all these, because I want them to have the exact same sort of ratio going on, so I'm going to edit, paste, move, and scale. And I'm going to keep doing that until I have three. Bear with me. Alright. There we go. Now we have three proportional sound waves. Sonic waves, whatever you want to call them. Alright, now I want to line them up. I'm not quite sure how to do that except by just eyeing it. So it should be fine. Um, now, we have our sound waves here, but that's that's just... That's really overly simple. We need to have something cooler than that. So, I'm also going to have... Let's see. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to call it... Wind. And I'm going to rename this base... Sonic Waves. Now, um, when I go into the wind, I'm not going to create any shapes yet, because wind is one of those things that isn't actually visible. You just see the effects of it. So, I'm just going to create a basic outline for the kind of thing I want to have happen. That looks semi-fast. That's alright.
All right, there we go. That's all right. Um, we'll make that we'll make that more exact later. I'm gonna go into much more detail at some point. But um, anyway, that's that. Now, for every special effect, we can't just leave it like this because this looks really stupid. I mean, if you click fire preview. If someone looks at that, they're not going to think, oh, that's somebody breaking this sound barrier. They're not just going to see black lines. They're going to see some sort of, like, shaded effect that's sort of like a ripple in the air. Now, what I want to do is I want to make it so that um, these are actually rings. I don't want it to be just uh, circles. I want them to be rings with actual holes in the middle. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this slightly more in-depth. Um, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to scale it down. Oh, there we go. I should have done this before. I don't know why I didn't. All right, there we go. Now that looks kind of legit. Now let's see here. I I really wish I had done this before because now I have to go back and redo it. Because I'm going to do this for every single one. I might as well just copy and paste these while I'm at it. So, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select these points, and I'm actually going to create a shape so that it has a hole in the middle. So now you see when I click Preview, you can see the actual hole. Um, that, that's what I'm looking for. Now, another thing I want to do, I'm going to select this shape, okay? And I am going to add some effects. Now, effects are just really cool. That's, that's, the, only, that's the only thing that I have to say about them. And unfortunately, you have to use a lot of combinations of a lot of different kinds of effects to make it look anywhere decent. I don't want shaded. That creates a shaded sort of deal. Soft edges, nah. Let's see, halo? No. Let's just go through here and see. Gradient. Radial gradient. Nah. Reflected gradient. Angle gradient. Ooh, that reflected gradient looks nice. That could be sort of like the reflection of the air molecules. Um, let's see. Drop shadow, no. Um, the ones that make the most sense to me here are the soft edge and the soft edge and the gradient. Um, and it's going to be reflected. The color one is going to be that. Color two is going to be transparent. So now you see it just sort of looks like an air ripple. That was the idea I was going for. Let's see, do I want that in the middle or do I want it this way? Is it, the, do, is it a difference? Yes, there is. I want the outlines to show up. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I can actually move this around to change the angle of reflection and I could animate this over time to show like the sort of like ripple effect. Um, that would be cool but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to click Control Z to undo that. Now the thing about these shapes is that they don't show up, um, the uh, image effects don't show up until you click preview. So you have to make sure you click preview to make sure you've done it right. And you know what, I decided that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to use that, that's what I'm going to use. Um, and I am going to copy and paste this exact shape until I ha am satisfied with it. Um, and I have three of them. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to scale it. Scale all points. This tech. Whoa, it's a bit big. This is technically actually scaling the shape, but because I've selected the individual points, it's only sca it's actually just scaling those points. Um, so it's not actually scaling the shape itself. I've just selected the points that happen to exist in the shape. Um, I'm gonna edit paste again. I really need to learn that command. So I don't have to type it in every single, or I don't have to look for it every single time. I can just type it in. All right. 